Six Weeks to Live by Catherine Mackenzie is a well-plotted, twisted, psychological thriller. This is the kind of domestic drama that grabs your attention and you can't put it down. Not until you get to the end and you keep on guessing all the way. The story takes place in Surrey, British Columbia, Canada. The chapters are divided into parts like, Six Weeks to Live, Five Weeks to Live, Four Weeks to Live. Jennifer, with her sickness and her alarming mysteries, is the ideal unreliable storyteller. She has only disdain for Jake the spouse who she refuses to divorce. Her lover is lost without a trace at a far-off retreat, her closest friend is briefly out of the picture, her mom is flighty, and her relationship with her three daughters is rough. Her daughters are triplets, two identical and one fraternal, who resent being pushed into the spotlight at a youthful age. Aline, a researcher, and her indistinguishable twin Miranda, who lacks direction, sympathize for their dad. While Emily, who looks like her mom is team Jennifer. However, even Emily is doubtful that Jennifer was purposefully poisoned. It makes the reader think about whether Jennifer is mixed up or somehow at fault. I was delighted by this thrilling ride and its message that everybody has mysteries, and everybody lies. Everybody's point of view is skewed. The differences in one's viewpoint is shown perfectly by the three ladies' diverse interpretation of their childhood. I liked B, Jennifer's mum, who pleasantly showed what her future might have been as B flourished in old age. I additionally loved Susie, whose three-week European getaway implied that she'd miss basically 50% of Jennifer's last days. The solid, standout characters in the book are all female. I definitely recommend the book. Six Weeks to Live by Catherine Mackenzie was a great mystery and thriller that keeps you guessing until the end. I look forward to reading more novels by Catherine Mackenzie. Thanks for listening this book review podcast. If you like this review, don't forget to follow, so that you do not miss any of our future podcast. Also show us your love by sharing it with your friends and family.